Hey guys, I am Kevin, and welcome back to Sean's channel. Today's topic is about how to use a free text-to-speech software for giving voiceover to your videos. Having a great voiceover helps easily communicate what your video is about. Gee thanks, Kevin. In case you didn't realize, that right there was a fake human voice. It was generated using a software. And that's what this video is about. Generating fake human-like voice using free softwares. But before we begin, consider subscribing and hitting that like button. It's free for you, doesn't cost you anything, but it tremendously helps out my channel. Giving a voiceover, in my opinion, really enhances the video quality. It helps drive the point home. But giving a great voiceover requires a lot of effort, a decent mic, and sometimes a lot of retakes. So like me, if you have a hard time doing voiceovers, then do try out what I'm going to showcase today. I personally think that Kevin can easily pass for a human being. For getting the software, you're going to have to write a lot of complicated code. I'm just kidding. Tee hee. You don't need to write any fancy code or script for doing this, but you will need to download Audacity, which is an audio editing and processing software. And in this video, I'll show you how to process the audio. So stay tuned for that. There are many text-to-speech softwares out there. I've tested quite a few of them, but the two that stood out are IBM Watson and Natural Readers. I'm going to cover the Natural Readers first. For testing purposes, I'm going to use the intro that I used in the beginning of this video. Mainly what I'm looking for is which one sounds more like a human. For test one, here's Sharon from Natural Readers. Hey guys, I am Sharon and welcome back to Sean's channel. Today's topic is about how to use a free text-to-speech software for giving voiceover to your videos. Having a great voiceover helps easily communicate what your video is about. So what did you think of that? I think we could do better. Let's try a male voice. Let's try Ryan. Hey guys, I am Ryan and welcome back to Sean's channel. Today's topic is about how to use a free text-to-speech software for giving voice over to your videos. What do you think of this one? I think this was even worse than Laura and it sounded pretty fake to me. One thing you could do is add some commas to your text. This creates a little pause when the AI is talking. So here's the same text-to-speech with some commas added. Hey guys, I am Gail and welcome back to Sean's channel. So here's the natural reader software. So far, what did you think about it? I think we need to move on and check out IBM's Watson. So IBM Watson converts text into natural sounding audio and like every other tool, it offers a variety of sounds, both male and female. I think this is the best text-to-speech software because it uses AI and more advanced technologies to convert text into speech. And the best part is, for now at least, this is free. You can easily convert your text to audio and then download that in an MP3 format. So for testing purposes, I'm going to test out a male and a female voice and you be the judge which one do you think sounds the best. And here's Allison using IBM Watson. Hey guys, I am Allison and welcome back to Sean's channel. Today's topic is about how to use a free text-to-speech software for giving voice over to your videos. So what do you think of that one? I think the words get articulated much better than the natural readers. But I still think this does not sound human. But I think it's close enough. And I think you can easily apply this as a voiceover to one of your videos. Do check out all the other voices that are available on the IBM Watson test site. There's both male and female voices that are available so I highly recommend you to check it out. I found Kevin V3 to be the best voice that's available that could fool you for a human. Mainly because it's got a little bit of imperfection in the voice, which makes it sound almost human. So here's the exact voice that I used in the intro of my video. Hey guys, I am Kevin and welcome back to Sean's channel. Today's topic is about how to use a free text-to-speech software for giving voice over to your videos. Having a great voice over helps easily communicate what your video is about. So I thought that this was talking too fast. In order to slow down Kevin's voice, you could add commas after each word. So in the sentence, I added some commas to space out some words. And here's what that sounds like. Hey guys, I am Kevin and welcome back to Sean's channel. Today's topic is about how to use a free text-to-speech software for giving voice over to your videos. Having a great voice over helps easily communicate what your video is about. To me, this almost sounded like a human voice, so you be the judge, you let me know in the comments below, did it sound human to you or does it still sound fake like a robot? Moving on on how to save this, all you need to do is right click on the audio player and choose save as. After that, just title your audio file and remember to add .mp3 at the end. 
or in the drop down save as type choose mp3 if you have that available. Save it in a proper location and then now it's ready to go. Next I want to show you how to combine all the audio files together. So let's say you downloaded three files using the text to speech software, right? You did your intro, you did your middle, and you're doing your end. You have three different files, so how to combine that into one? Well, that's where Audacity comes in. You can take different audio files and combine them to make it one. You can just do that by dragging the file into the software like I'm showing it to you. Then from each file, you can cut the area that you want to grab. You can do Control X or you can hit that cut button. And then you want to go to your first timeline and paste that in there. By timeline, I meant audio track. You can paste by Control V or just hit that paste button in the software. Do the same by cutting the other track and pasting it into the main one. And now we have everything ready. And here's what everything combined sounds like. This is the intro. This is the middle. This is the end. Simple enough, right? If you have any issues, just Google Audacity or find other tutorials on YouTube on how to use Audacity. It's a really easy to use software. Once everything is ready, just export the file, export as mp3, choose where you want to save it and hit save. Rename the file if you want to. And that's pretty much it on how to use Audacity. Now what I'm going to do is show you how I can combine this and add it to my work. Basically I'm going to replace my voice with Kevin's voice while I go over the ingredients list from my last video. If you haven't already, do remember to check out my last video which is how to make McChicken Sandwich. And just for comparison, here's my voice going over the ingredients list. Here are all the spices that we're going to use to season the chicken. You're going to need salt, black pepper, mustard, onion powder, paprika, and garlic powder. Now here's Kevin's voice using IBM Watson software. Here are all the spices that we are going to use to season the chicken. You are going to need salt, black pepper, mustard, onion powder, paprika, and garlic powder. Notice how Kevin said paprika, not paprika. The area I'm from, we say paprika. To fix this, I played around with the wording until Kevin started saying paprika instead of paprika. And here's what that sounds like. Here are all the spices that we are gonna use to season the chicken. You are gonna need salt, black pepper, mustard, onion powder, paprika, and garlic powder. Lastly, I'm gonna compare the intro and compare my voice with IBM Watson. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the best McChicken sandwich using real breast meat. And then I'm going to compare it to the McDonald's McChicken sandwich. And here's Kevin from IBM Watson. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the best McChicken sandwich using real breast meat. And then I'm going to compare it to McDonald's McChicken sandwich. What did you think about that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm eager to know what you think. I think if I made videos using IBM Watson, used Kevin's voice, nobody would tell the difference between human versus the software. Giving a voiceover, in my opinion, really enhances the video quality. It helps drive the point home. And if you're someone that wants to give a voiceover, but had faced challenges while giving voiceovers, then do try this option out. I think it would work out pretty good for you. That's it for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you liked it, if you want me to make it more content like this. Do remember to subscribe and like this video, because it helps me out tremendously when you do that. Until next time, take care.